Hey, so I wanted to come on to give an update as to what's been going on with me. Today, it's been a very long time since I left an update. Um, I think the last one was early December. So things got significantly worse and I had to figure out new treatment plans. The last I advised was that I was going to a concussion clinic to do um, exercises on my, um, my SCM, my suboccipitals, my traps, uh, that entire area. And while that ex those exercises were valid, it didn't resolve the hyperacusis that I was experiencing and the eustachian tube dysfunction that I was experiencing. So during one of those hyperacusis episodes that were coming on at that by that point, every four to seven days, putting me down with vertigo, dizziness, hearing distortion, all of that, and uh, severe tinnitus, I went investigating red light therapy. And I discovered a clinic called Bioflex, and they're located in Etobicoke here in the GTA. And they specialize in uh, photobiomodulation, otherwise known as uh, low low um, intensity laser therapy, I believe, LLLT. Anyway, I, I probably botched that acronym, but uh, uh, it is LLLT. But now it's called photobiomodulation, and that's specifically about using light to heal the body and to influence the body's mechanics. So Bioflex specializes in near infrared and red light therapy via lasers that are applied to the skin. So that's directly to the skin and you have to kind of depress the skin to get the best um, results from the laser. Um, all of the journals that talk about um, all of the research that are cited in journals that talk about, you know, using red light therapy and near infrared therapy talk about it needing to be used directly on the skin and depressed into the skin. Your melanin affects the the uh, the rate of light absorption or the amount of light that your body can absorb. Even hair does that. So you can't just simply get a red light device and stand in front of it, similar to what you would see with uh, red light panels like Juve and, and uh, Kayla, etc. So all that being said, I got into this clinic. I was, I'm using their uh, panels on my face. They're giving me treatment with laser probes of infrared um, and near infrared therapy. And it was miraculous. Um, I was able to gain a function in my jaw um, by, the, by about, I want to say, four weeks of three, two to three times a week. Um, and then we, so that allowed me to get rid of all the muscle tension and spasms that were causing the hyperacusis, um, or contributing factor to the hyperacusis. The hyperacusis was still happening, but by that time it was at least once a week. Um, so we did the TMD protocol, which targets the, the lasers to the TMJ, the trapezius muscles, the temporalis muscles, the masseter, the SCMs, the suboccipitals, and basically they're, they're, they're targeting the trigger points around those muscles and that solved my hyperacusis. So I haven't had um, a hyperacusis episode since February 6th to be exact. Uh, I'm still experiencing um, the eustachian tube dysfunction to some extent. So now I am just dealing with um, a bit of restriction in in the the tube not wanting to open um, as spontaneous as it should and it with ease as it should numb upper teeth and tinnitus so I think I've laid the groundwork to now revisit e the physical therapies that I was using before so uh, whether that be acupuncture osteo osteopathy can you imagine that my phone is still full so as I was saying, I think it's time now to revisit um, manual therapy. So like osteopathy, physiotherapy, um, specifically uh, cranial sacral therapy. Um, and then to do the, I don't know, the, the stereotypical stuff, the chin tucks, the SEM stretches, and to see if I can now physically influence the position of the muscles and and get them to stay in the right position because the laser has allowed the muscles to calm down to relax but I seemingly can't keep it there 
So I think I probably maxed out on what the laser can do as a standalone, but it is still a complement to the other the other treatments. So that's what I intend to do. Um, and uh, I think that's it. So I will put links below to the clinic, to some of the research. And um, yeah, if I were you, I would, I would find a laser therapy clinic. It does a whole gamut of things to the body. Um, you can put it on any, any place. Just not your thyroid. Just not over cancer spots or over your heart. Um, I don't know if there's any other spots you shouldn't be touching, but... It does a lot, so much that I can make a two-hour video on it, and I'm not going to do that. People have already done it, so go watch those. Um, but uh, I'll leave the links with some information and then continue on. All right, that's it. Thank you. Cheers.